eating, drinking, or talking over the phone. I don't feel like I'm talking over the phone. I'm talking to the phone. It is currently 9 p.m. here in Japan. It's time for a late night eat. Luckily, there is this chain store of ramen that is super popular. What they're known for is their, you know, obviously good ramen, but also the ability to not interact with any human being, which I love because I hate people. So let me, uh, let me show you guys how it works. So it's called Ichiran Ramen. You go in, you approach this ticket vending machine. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of ramen option. Put some money in, click on the one you want. It prints out some tickets, you get your change and you go find an empty seat. You sit down and you put your ticket out at the window and there's a button to call for help if you need it. They just take it and bring you the food and there's even blinds so that you don't even see the staff. All you see is their lower body and once they bring you the food, they completely shut the blind so you are just alone by yourself in the stall. It's pretty great because sometimes you just want to eat food in peace and quiet and not have it to be like a big thing in America. When you go out to restaurants, it's always with multiple people. There's the server, you gotta tip them, you gotta laugh at the jokes and they come over and say, hey, how's everything going? And your mouth is full of food, so you just politely nod. It's a whole thing, but here it's just peace, quiet, and isolation. If you want to order more things, they have things on the right. You can write down if you want more eggs, you can just take that and pay them cash. There's a few sticks, but if you don't understand the Japanese or the process works, you just grab one of these sticks and you put it out there. So, delicious ramen, great, great system of not having to interact with humans, and it's perfect for someone like me. And after you're done, you just leave. No tipping, no paying, because you already paid at the start. So you just walk out, and there you go. Day three of being alone in Japan. It is currently, it doesn't say, because I'm recording a video. 7.31 a.m. I'm gonna go check out one of those capsule hotels where you pay like 60 bucks and you get a little pod and you sleep in it like you're in a science fiction movie. Let's go. I have a men's elevator and a women's elevator. I'm on the fifth floor, so let's go ahead and head up there. Whoa. Oh, thank God no one else is here. Oh, no, never mind. A couple of people are here. It's final pod 507. Oh, I have a neighbor. give you a QR code that is essentially your locker key and a bag of stuff. Towel. Jogging pants. Jogging shirt. Slippers. Toothbrush with toothpaste. 
towel and another towel. I think some people use this as like a running station. They run around from far away and they want to like rent some clothes, just throw it away. Not have to worry about washing it. They come here. Cool. Let's check out the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Please change the slippers before proceeding. Please place your towels into container provided. At checkout, please turn it on for at the front desk. Very cozy in here. Back towel basket. A shower cubby. Another shower cubby. Three shower cubbies. Place to hang your clothes. Shampoo, conditioner, body soap. Here are the lockers. You scan the QR code. Very efficient with the space as well. Let's see if we can go for a quick run. These pants don't have pockets. No pockets. Let's see if this works. So the sun is just about setting. Across the horizon, um, we are here at the Imperial Palace, which is a very popular running spot, as you can see. Everyone just runs in a giant loop. But there's not too many places to run in Tokyo since it's like a big urbanized city, so this is like one of the main places. We came here the first week of our OTV trip, and I just remember seeing so many people run, so. Let's get some miles in. <laughs> a hotel where you don't have to talk to anyone and a restaurant where you don't have to talk to anyone. Pretty good for introverts like me. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys next time. Good night.